Okay, so in this problem, what we're going to try and do is calculate the what are called the capital structure weights of the firm. And so we have a problem that says, suppose you have a market value of equity equal to 500 million and a market value of debt equal to 475 million. What are the capital structure weights of the firm? Okay. So the capital structure weights is the, are the relative values of debt and equity relative to the total value of the firm. And the total value of the firm is equal to the total value of its equity plus the total value of its debt. Right? So we can write that out and say the total value V of the firm is equal to the market value of the firm's equity. plus the market value of the firm's debt. Okay. And so for us, that's pretty straightforward. We're given the market value of equity, 500 million. And we're given the market value of debt, 475 million. So the total value of the firm then has to be 975 million. Now the capital structure weights themselves are the result of dividing the market value of each source of capital by the total market value of the firm in much the same way that we calculated the portfolio weights in the previous chapter. Right? So we can calculate the weight of the firm that is financed using equity by dividing the market value of equity by the total market value of the firm. And that's 500 million divided by 975 million, or 0.5128, which is 51.28% of the firm. All right, so 51.28% of the firm's financing has come from selling equity shares. Right? And so 51% of the firm belongs to its equity owners. The weight of the firm that has been financed using debt is the market value of debt divided by the market value of the firm, which is 475 million divided by 975 million, or 4.872, which is 48.72%. Now notice, of course, that the firm, the financing of the firm must add up to one. In other words, the weights of capital must equal one because the firm can't have value that it wasn't provided. Right? So that either the value of the firm belongs to its owners or the value of the firm has been promised to its debt holders, but the money doesn't just appear or disappear. So that means that we could have calculated the weight of debt by subtracting one minus the weight of equity we calculated first, that would give us the weight of debt because they together have to be one. Also notice that well, although the general structure of this is going to only include equity and debt, the value of the firm is simply the value of all its component sources of equity. So I could add a third term here for something like preferred shares and then have a weight of preferred shares being the uh, market value of preferred shares divided by the market value of the firm, and finally have all of those weights sum to one. Right? And any other source of capital would just be included as a separate term, right? But every source of capital must be included.